Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Photopea tutorial. In this one, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make some spooky, scary looking text in Photopea. And I'm going to try to make it as fast as possible so you guys can get this done and move on with your day. So without further ado, let's get started. So once you have your project open, I just pulled a background from Google or whatever. All you want to do is go to your text tool over here, click anywhere on your canvas and type in your text. I typed in my spooky text. Now I'm gonna hit Control A to select all of it. I'm gonna go up here to size and I'm gonna turn it up. And I'm gonna turn it up manually because it can only go to 150. So I'm gonna type in 300, hit that check mark. I'm gonna move it to the center. Now what you wanna do is double click on it to select all of it. Go up to warp, go to style. Now, this is up to you. You can do arc. You could do shell lower, which is what I'm going to do. And we're going to go with about 15 to 20%. Hit OK, hit that check mark. I'm actually going to make this a little bit smaller, maybe 200 or 250. OK, now I'm going to move it to the center again. And now what you're going to want to do is just double click on your text. What we're going to be using is bevel and emboss, inner glow, gradient overlay, outer glow, and that's it. Also contour and texture. So we're going to start out with bevel and emboss. Style is inner bevel. Technique is chisel hard. For the depth, I went with about 530. Um, for the size, I went with four and I left everything else the same. Now contour, leave the same. Texture, choose this pattern. I turn the scale to about 294 and this is gonna vary depending on how big your text is. The depth, leave the same. So it kind of gives it like a rough texture, which is nice. Okay, now we can move on to the inner glow. So go ahead and click on inner glow. We're gonna go with color dodge, blend mode. Change the opacity to 38%. The color, we're gonna change that to like an orange. which we can change that later. Um, let's see, spread and size, turn that up a little bit. Okay, about there. Now, if you go to gradient overlay, we can change the color of this. So click on this color box right here, double click on the black and choose like a dark orange, or you can choose whatever, you, whatever color you want, but just choose a darker color of the color you're gonna go with. So a dark orange and then do a light orange like that. I might make this one a little bit lighter actually. Like this, okay. Now I can adjust the inner glow a little bit more. Turn the opacity all the way up, looks good on that one. But you can adjust all this. You don't have to completely copy me. That's up to you. So yeah, like that. Now, outer glow. Change the blend mode to linear dodge. The opacity I went with is like 15%. The spread I went with was like 20 and 20 on the size. And let's see what we can do. Turn this to like an orangish color or like a yellowish, whatever color you want. And there you go. That's how you make the spooky text. I think it looks really good. Yeah, it may not be exactly like from the video, but I kind of just made up another version of it. And I think it looks pretty good. Let me know what you guys think. Anyways, that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.